So my question is, how do we, how do we love? So, um, I said the role of gender and love. So when I was researching my topic, um, a lot of things came up about how we love, how we learn how to love. But the thing that stuck out the most to me is how gender roles affect how we love. So at a young age, I realized the different approach with um, love and stuff. So um, how many people in this room um, have friends of different genders? Raise your hand. <laughs> OK, how many people in the room talk to those friends of gen different gender? They vent to them about certain stuff. <laughs> so um, how many people in the room vent to them about your personal relationships and stuff. How many people in the room uh, think twice about taking their advice because you believe like that's not true, that's not something you would do? <laughs> okay, so um, I have a younger cousin that's, uh, he's not that much younger than me, but he's younger than me and he's a male. And so um, he was in a relationship with a female and um, he told my older cousins about how everything was um, going bad and fall, um, like going down the drain and stuff. And like um, he didn't really want to talk about it, but he kind of came uh, became depressed. And so I wanted to talk about it with him. And so he explained the situation to me, and I told him like it's okay to be sad, like it's okay, like you can express your feelings, but you know you gotta move on for it, move on to it. So um, my older male cousin came to him, and he's like you're not supposed to be crying, like you a boy, like boys are strong, like there's no reason for you to show weakness, like fix your face, like you're not a wimp. So that's when I knew that like, um, it's okay for certain things to go on with males, and then it's okay for it not to go on, so like, yeah. So it's a video I want to show you.
said that um, we don't realize that society has a huge impact on our relationships and um, how we operate in our relationships. Um, so when I did my research, it was three articles that stuck out to me. So the first article talked about the concepts of love, and then it talked about how um, um, love should start off as one. It should never be anyone in competition with, it, with one another. It should never be someone more dominant than the other person. The second article talked about the behavior standards of love and like, relationships and stuff. So it also um, talked about how um, men are more dominant than women and how women are supposed to, um, I guess, tend to men and stuff. And I found that like real crazy, I guess, because um, in like most relationships, I see that um, people want to live up to society standards, and like they just like base their relationships off of society. And I don't think that's how um, things should go. Um, also, the last one was relations of dependency. So this article talks about how um, males. Males are the breadwinners, so they are naturally supposed to be the ones who make more money, and women are supposed to um, like make less money, so the men can, I guess, feel more confident about themselves. And so, um, yeah, it was kind of crazy because it's like you shouldn't be in competition with your um, partner that you are in a relationship with. You got, you, I feel like the whole concept should be like you work together as a team not against each other. So my answer to this is like, of how do we love? I think um, it's about the gender roles in the society and how society portrays it. So I noticed that many people like in school, like outside of school, on TV shows, like it's portrayed as women are supposed to feel um, <coughs> less dominant than men and men are supposed to feel dominant. So like I had um, I watch TV shows when men who necessarily don't make more money than their wives feel less dominant. So they tend to leave the relationship and find something else that makes them feel more dominant. And so um, I feel like a lot of people live up to society standards when that's not how you're supposed to um, you know live your relation like have your relationship. <coughs> So I guess my answer is like, do what you feel is best for your relationship that's going to be successful, like have fun and just make sure that you're not listening to anybody else, just like do what you think is best for you.